Hello, this is a short video demonstration of how to use the condensation risk analysis in BuildDesk U software. For this demonstration of condensation risk analysis, we're going to use a standard component. We'll go to the standard external wall, left click on the little plus sign to expand that then left click again to expand the light frame walls then I'm going to double click on the cold timber frame brick facing this only has a 90 millimeter timber frame cavity now it's loaded you can see that the U value is actually greater than that allowed by current building regulations in England and Wales so this would not be acceptable in England and Wales if we look at the condensation risk analysis here, we just click on this tab. It first asks us to choose a location. BuildDesk U needs climate data, which it keeps in a database internally. We now need to choose an area that's got similar climate to the one we're building in. Let's build a house near Leeds click on leads and it inputs the climate data. We need to put the internal climate which you can do with a drop down here. We're going to stick with the default of dwellings with low occupancy. You could also override the data by clicking on this free input of environmental conditions and then entering the conditions you have which you could do if you had better data than those in the database. So let's click OK and see what happens. We now get a condensation risk analysis which shows the risk of condensation over the year. For this one there is nothing in the graph because there's no risk of surface humidity and there's no risk of interstitial condensation. We'll now look at what would happen if you had surfaces that did give condensation. We'll go back to the U value calculation on the thermal transmittance. We're going to deactivate the polythene vapor barrier layer by left clicking on the tick here. And go back to the condensation risk analysis. And now you see although it still gets two green ticks, it's showing that there is a problem and that there could be condensation in some months. This shows you what happens month on month and the red areas show that there is condensation occurring from November through to April. The reason it gets green ticks is that there's enough evaporation over the summer that over the entire year the condensation does evaporate. You can also see that there are two interfaces here where the condensation forms. Let's have a bit more look at the results of this to get some more detail. The first line here is the monthly moisture content and the second line is the cumulative moisture content. So it starts accumulating in October and then each month adds on to the previous month so we get up to 3,787 grams per meter squared. It then starts to evaporate again and finally disappears in August and September. Now if you're familiar with condensation risk analysis you may use glazer diagrams. If we click this tab up here it will give you a glazer diagram. You need to choose which month you're looking at what the diagram shows is the outside of the wall construction moving to the inside and first of all the temperature gradient across there uh, and then it shows where you are likely to get condensation. The blue line is the saturation pressure and the red line is the partial pressure. Where these two meet is where you get condensation occurring.
We'll now close that. And if you wanted to print these out, you could go to the Print Preview. This will give you choice of a number of reports that you can undertake. So if we wanted, for example, to show everything that we've seen now, we could include the vapor pressure distribution or glazer diagrams. Uh, those will print out one per month though, so there's a lot of printing there. We're just going to choose two of these reports for now uh, to prove that this doesn't actually meet building regulations to our client, so we'll click OK. We now get a print preview window which can be changed in size so that you can read it better and you can scroll up and down to see what it says as well. You could either print that, you could copy it to a clipboard where you could put it into another program or you could produce a PDF file from it. We'll close that down. We're warned that this is a new build building regulations failure but we're going to save it anyway. We can use the existing name, it will put it into our own catalogue rather than into the standard external walls but just to avoid us getting confused we'd probably want to change this uh, so that we know that it's one of our own rather than a standard one and avoid confusion and we'll change them both to the same name here and before we save that we need to say which group it's going into it's going to be an external wall so we'll save it and that will now be available in our own catalogue if we wanted to produce a failing external cold timber frame brick facing wall. Thank you for your interest in BuildDesk U software. We hope you found this of use. For more information please visit our website at www.builddesk.co.uk